everybody, Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. Got your first video for you this week, for this month, and I've got a really, really cool guitar for you. What I have today is a big jumbo. Now this is a 1977 Aria, made in Japan. It's a J200 and Everly Brothers, which has the double pick guard. Uh, it's actually uh, uh, marketed as a model 9441 in the catalog. So this guitar is absolutely unbelievably cool. And uh, I've seen just a few of them uh, before, but most of them have been in the natural finish. This is the only one I've seen in really a long time in the sunburst. And it is an absolute beauty. Uh, we had our tech set it up. It plays great. Uh, he did a great job setting it up. Worked on the nut just a little bit. We've got the saddle down about as low as we're going to get it. So does it need a neck reset? No, it plays great uh, just the way it sits. Someday it will, uh, certainly not in my lifetime. Now, the uh, the guitar has got a spruce top, uh, which is uh, looks like it is a two-piece. Yeah, joined right here. Uh, it's got laminated maple uh, back and sides. And uh, it's all original that I can tell uh, from uh, top to bottom. It's got these really cool star tuners on the back. Uh, okay, there's one thing that's not original. That strap button would not be original. And it's got uh, inside a K&K &K pickup. I'm going to tell you a quick story. Uh, I saw that it had a pickup uh, installed, and usually on these older guitars, I want to take those out because most people are like, you know, I don't really want an electric vintage guitar. Uh, but I thought, well, I better take that out. So I reached inside to get it out, and I started pulling, and, and it wasn't going anywhere. And I got the end out where uh, uh, the uh, uh, end pin connects to, and I looked at it, and I goes. Oh, K and K. This is a very expensive uh, pickup system that they put in here. Now it's totally passive. You'll never have to worry about um, a uh, battery or anything like that. So you control everything through your amp uh, or your pedals or whatever that you're using. But you don't have to worry about changing batteries. Your battery goes out and it sounds terrible. Uh, I've uh, always wanted to hear a K and K uh, pickup. I heard how good they were. Uh, you'll be hearing it here in just a minute when we plug it in uh, for you. But uh, I liked it so much, uh, I purchased a K&K &K pickup for one of my other Gibson guitars that I'm going to be having installed by Artec uh, uh, here pretty soon. I think they're fantastic. I like the natural sound of them, and I think you'll like the natural sound of this too. You'll hear it in just a minute. Uh, the, the neck is a 25 and 3 quarter inch scale. Uh, it's a 1 and 3 quarter inch uh, nut on it, so you uh, big-handed guys will like it. Uh, original truss rod cover. It's got the big star on the headstock, and uh, Brian was kind enough to remind me. He says, look at those inlays, and I, I'm glad he did because I might have missed that. This thing has stars all over it. I mean, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stars on the fretboard that are inlaid, and those are mother of pearl uh, uh, inlays. And then it's also got stars on the uh, uh, on the pick guard, the double uh, uh, Everly Brothers pick guard system. And then of course it's got stars on your tuners, and uh, so it's got stars everywhere. Now, there's one thing that I want to talk about before we play this guitar for you. Uh, when I got it, the back uh, is discolored, and I got to looking at it, and I said, you know, I think it was discolored for a reason. Uh, they wanted to cover up something. I looked everywhere. I cannot find any indication at all that there was ever any break in this headstock. It's just, it's smooth as it can be. There's just a little bit here. It might have cracked, maybe, is the only thing I could figure out. And when they sprayed it, it didn't cover a uh, color the way they wanted it. So, you know, I would have, you know, done something a little different, but it's what you got. They, they, they put a nice uh, clear on it, so it was a nice job. It's just, it's a little discolored on the back of your neck. So I want to point that out as the only malady that I could really find on this guitar. And it's certainly buried behind your hand, so it's not something that you're ever going to see. But my goodness, what a beautiful uh, spruce top. It's 17 inches wide from here to here. And, uh, you know, try to find a case. You'll be happy to know I've got a case for you. Not original, but I've got a great hard shell case for you. And, uh, like I said, it just plays great. You know, it just, you know, it sounds big.
not a guitar that you have to play in the top three frets. The guitar, uh, I mean, bar chords, no problem. I'll tell you, when we first got it, I was really concerned about, uh-oh, we might have to do a neck reset on it. I was really concerned about that. Our tech uh, adjusted the, the uh, truss rod. Like I said before, he worked on the nut just a little bit, worked on my saddle just a little bit, and it just plays great. No fret outs. <laughs> I've got it uh, set up with uh, 12s, Phosphorus Bronze, Dr. Ducks. Thank you, Dr. Duck, um, for his great strings. Uh, happy to give him a shout out there on all of our guitars. We just really like them a lot. Boy, that thing sounds great. Tell you what, why don't we plug it in and let you hear how this awesome K&K &K system sounds on this guitar. Okay, so we got this thing plugged in. Now let's hear how awesome the K&K uh, &K pickup system sounds in it. This guitar is a blast to play. Uh, nice uh, uh, rosewood uh, fingerboard on it. Don't know if it's Brazilian. Um, I would say it is. It looks very high quality on it. Frets are in beautiful shape. Uh, they are not real tall, uh, so that you know they feel very vintage to me. And it's just really, really a nice guitar. Like I said, just the back of the neck is the only thing that I uh, would point out to it. And it just, just sounds marvelous. Now, I do not have the original case with it. It didn't come with a case, so I'm not hoarding cases from you guys. Uh, it didn't have a case. So uh, the one that came in was just awful. So here's what I did. I've got a brand new Guardian case for it. And these are not inexpensive cases. Uh, it's uh, uh, I have a couple of these that I've kept around just for these jumbos that will show up. Uh, it's brand new. Uh, uh, of course, it's got everything on it. It's uh, I even left the tag on it so you can see uh, that it's brand new. So uh, it fits the guitar perfectly. Uh, designed for a guitar just like it. 17-inch uh, wide. Got your accessory box. It's got uh, keys in it and everything. Uh, so it's just as if you'd have to go out and try to find yourself a 17-inch jumbo case, which, by the way, good luck. These are just not around that much anymore. But I have a couple. I'm going to use one for you to make sure that we've got that beautiful Aria uh, Everly Brothers J200 Jumbo in a really nice case when I ship it to you. You're going to be really excited when that guitar shows up, let me tell you. I have enjoyed playing it. We've enjoyed getting it back into shape. Again, it's not at all uh, what you're seeing today is not what it looked like when I got it. I'll trust trust me on that. We've spent some time with it. We're really happy how it turned out, and I can't wait to get in the hands of its new owner. So check in all of our really cool guitars out at www.lawmanguitars.com. Guitars.com. You can uh, uh, continue to find us here on my YouTube channel. And hey, while you're watching this demo, why don't you hit subscribe and become one of our subscribers so you don't have to look for me every month. I'll be sure to send you a uh, demo whenever we get one done. So every week you'll get to see another cool guitar. So you get all of that just by subscribing. So hit the subscribe button, go to lawmanguitars.com, and I hope we see you soon. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate you watching my demos.